Esta noche vamos a tomar un par de cervezas de Sudamérica. How do you guys do that? Alright folks, episode 2 of the Weird Booze Weekdays in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. We are having some South American beers. Dan, what are you drinking? I have a Pilsner. Uh, straight from Ecuador. So Show them the label. Right from the country of Ecuador. I'm drinking Cerveza de Cusqueña, or sorry, yeah, Cerveza Premium Cusqueña de Peru. Mine was easier to say. I'll gill ya from Colombia. I'll gill you. Let's pour. Let's pour. Dan, what are you doing? Pouring. Hey, look, kids, he's learning. He's learning. Like a chimp with tools. I do want to point out that my, my Bam! bottle... Bam! Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I want to point out that my bottle does say 100% malt lager, so I'm a little frightened as to what I'm in store for here. Mine is... Uh, oh. Because I've drunk Steel anyway. Reserve before, and it's pretty fucking rough. Hold on. Mine's a yellow. Did like, Dan do the best pour of all three of us? Well, he learned fast. A lot ahead in this drink. Uh, hey, Adam, how do, we, uh, how do we toast in South America? Arriba, abajo, a centro, y what? Por dentro. Above, below, in front of me, and inside. Arriba, abajo, a la centro. Arriba, abajo, al centro, y por dentro. I'm just going to drink. Hasta la vista, beer be. Oh my god. <laughs> German episode. Actually, no, that's like, I was expecting that to be super gross and like I totally prepared for it, and actually, that is clean. I mean, yeah, it's kind of malty, but that is clean. This is a little sweet. It is. What the fuck? Mine is a little sweet, mm -hmm. um, but there's no. It's not hoppy. So it was a pilsner, I guess. Uh, it's, yeah. It's pretty good. It's light. Uh, pretty good. I'm giving the answer I was afraid I was going to give when we decided that we're doing beer things for Oktoberfest. Are you going to throw is, up? No, that it tastes like beer. Guys, Does it taste like beer South tastes like beer. Does it taste like South American beer? It tastes like a standard, like, Labatt Blue or Budweiser. I'm not impressed. He's not lying. It tastes just like a Labatt, Labatt Blue or Budweiser. Yeah, it's like it was packaged in America. It really Flapped them with some kind of Spanish label. Take a swig of that there. Okay. I, I just tried some of yours. No, you did. Pass it on to Dan. I'm good. This, this is good. We're okay, sharing. this is kind of, I like this. It's malty, though. Yeah. It's like, it's it's kind of, I, I'm, I'm curious as to what the ABV is, and I'm not sure if they're going to print it on the label, but, uh, and they haven't. So, uh... So we're getting drunk. We might be getting drunk. I have no idea. The malted beers I'm used to in the States are at least 10% alcohol by volume. This doesn't taste that alcoholic, but it doesn't taste that lightly alcoholic either, so. Dan? Ecuador knows what they're doing with the drinks. Tastes good. It's light. I'm gonna taste it. Uh, you know, you can have this on a summer day. So, I enjoy it. It's very much Pilsner, but without that... Typical right. Pilsner smell. Right. So. Great. All right, folks. Happy Oktoberfest. And Are you overdubbing me as well? No, just do it. Uh, yeah, we should. <laughs> we should go out. Uh, oh, fine. I'll change your tone. Fine. Ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hola, bienvenida.